Voicemail. Numbers blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. Got roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. better ways to spend your life than shooting rockets at dudes in spandex. We got this, Spider-Man. Thanks anyway. Analyzes hazardous chemicals, and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. And they must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta fu- Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Mini-Me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. Thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe... Maybe not. Mm -hmm. 
End of the trail. He's in this. He's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Get the hell out of me. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. Love it. Back where it belongs, I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera for, Trouble for your help. <laughs> now I know all these things from a place of concern, but this is a common misconception that I have to. Hello, Spider. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. The black cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of play? There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri, you still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. <sighs> Backup requested for a pursuit in progress. Mobilize on Dutchtown. Hey. An Oscorp vis. Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. 
You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Consolidated shipping. <sighs> Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Four 
You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <laughs> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Kick it up a notch. A thing of 
beauty. Swing around the outside to look for fist men. Big guy. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof. I've missed these cryptic Fisk talks. Oh, 
Come on. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Now's my chance. to Newark? Afraid I have to ask you to pull over the helicopter, sir! This is your master plan? Replace Fisk? Fisk is only the beginning! One engine down. Now for the second. Second engine. Masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh, cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Cathedral. 
Five Bush Avenue exit. See services. heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though. You probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu, and it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their bodies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. One more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. Zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. There's the stage entrance. And we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, 
If only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. With that, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? Oh, I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but. Loose ends. Well. A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. 